Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, if you're a new subscriber, cool, I guess. Even though I'm gone for months at a time. Um, and yeah, there's always like cooler people to follow, like some gay open polygamist or something. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm on YouTube, but I don't upload regularly. I pretty much just watch Wendy Williams when I'm eating or uh, those PBS science videos or SciShow pretty much. That's all I watch. And those car reviews. But yeah, it's not like I drive cars, new cars all the time. But anyways, whenever I'm gone, there's always like several of you who always like leave me comments on Instagram or direct messages saying how you like my channel and you miss when I'm gone. So I come back all the time because I really appreciate those comments and my channel could be much worse. I don't make money from this, so it's all for fun unless I get shut down from YouTube. And yeah, I guess I'll move on to Pornhub after that, but maybe, I don't know. But yeah, nothing triple exy or ecky. <laughs> nothing triple ecky. But yeah, and if you don't already know, I'm, I've been pretty much just studying my ass off and um, when I'm not studying, I'm pretty much just working and interning if you don't already know because I pretty much upload a lot of animal pictures but not on my Instagram but through Instagram stories. So whenever you saw like a cool animal, it's like I'm pretty much freaking out as well because like I don't see pugs that often and I don't see Dalmatians ever besides in like the movie. And yeah, or like um, cats and dogs with heterochromia. I've seen like quite a few of those. It's pretty much, it's, and yeah, 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 those are fun to see. Uh, but yeah, so since that's over, I'm pretty much, I have some free time, so I'm back and I have a lot of packages that just pretty much get thrown in my t into my closet and not opened, so it's pretty much Christmas for me. This most recent semester was like the craziest since I haven't taken near full-time units in a long time, like over five years because this is my second degree. So yeah, but anyways, like over a month ago, I got an Amazon package and I thought it was really weird because I had ordered a, made an Amazon order like the week prior and I thought I got all my items ready, but it turned out to be, to be from a subscriber. So yeah, it was pretty cool. So um, yeah. I was like, did I get all my items? Because I ordered like this, which is actually, um, if you're in, uh, if you're looking for a sub sunscreen, this is pretty good. It's like a really reputable brand. Is it focusing? And it's really big, it's 10 ounces, and it's for children, so you know that it's like really safe, and if some kids are harmed, then you know the company would be really like be had really bad press so yeah it's really good and it's from La Roche Posay some uh, yeah it's, yeah it's really cheap it's like $30 for 10 ounces so I'll link it in the bottom if you are interested and then um, following that there's also like this if you're looking for a moisturizer this is really big and yeah you can find it on Amazon too but I'm kind of scared of ordering this because it's not from Amazon directly, so I'm kind of scared it's fake, but and nothing bad has happened yet. But for sure, this is this is legit. So yeah, just check where your seller is from. Or if it's stocked by Amazon, but sold from someone else. Because it costs money to stock those items at their warehouse so they can ship faster. And yeah, so anyways, um, here's my Amazon gift. And it's kind of embarrassing, but yeah. So um, depending on the length of this video or if my camera overheats or not, um, I might show more things. Actually, actually, I should show, show put on the shirt first. So, anyways, um, for a while, Adidas had a sale, so I was really wanting more hoodies since I have two and one's like really broken at the elbow part and. Yeah, I, I just needed one in more hoodies. But then this one was not what I wanted since it's, all the other ones are like really expensive and I don't want to pay more than $30 for a hoodie. So I got this and I thought it was black from the picture online, but it was actually like polka dotted or yeah. So 
yeah, it's not like what I wanted, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I guess it's from all those dance practice videos you see on, uh, online when you see like K-pop artists practice their choreography and I guess I was just really like into watching, seeing them in, in Adidas, so yeah. Like, um, if you watch like Blackpink's do 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 dance practice, they all wore Adidas. And then I think in Uju Sonia's um, Butake dance practice, most of them wore Adidas too. So yeah. And I'm wearing a hat because I need a haircut and I, need, I have pimples to hide, so yeah. The thing about this hoodie is that it defeats the purpose of it being a hoodie because it has sleeve, it's sleeveless. No, not sleeveless, but it's short sleeve. So, um, I have like 10 minutes before I think my camera starts getting screwy. Um, see, I got this for like, Less than twenty five dollars, I think. I don't remember. I have a package from Unique Low that's from like spring, and I barely am gonna open it now. So yeah. But anyways, um, I guess the first non embarrassing package thing that I got from this cool subscriber, which it, um, which is um, Patrick Ng. So thank you, Patrick. And it's this video, well, I got, I saw this thing on um, Rachel and June's channel, which is like this, this like white and Japanese couple in Japan. And she was talking about how there's this really cool um, toothpaste that you can't buy in the US. So I put on my wish list for fun because I don't think anyone's gonna buy from it. So this is really surprising. So <laughs> I got this remineralizing Japanese toothpaste. <laughs> And I'm gonna try it later. So if I have time, maybe I'll record it um, and see how it tastes. But yeah, so basically there's this ingredient in here that helps like fill in your, the holes in your teeth and help it like get, not feel as sensitive. So I guess it's like better than sensitine, sensitine? I don't know. I only use like cold heat, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, so. Whatever MHAP is, um, it's supposed to help like fill in the little holes in your teeth and and remineralize your teeth. So I guess it's better than sodium fluoride. Um, but yeah, so if you are interested, I'll put it in my description box too. But yeah, it's like 16 bucks, so thanks. And then another thing that I wasn't expecting anyone to buy, I don't even remember putting this in my wish list, to be honest. I put it in like these thongs, not thinking anyone would buy it. But I don't know why I did it anyways, because it's from like some no-name China brand, so. Yeah, I don't even know how it's gonna fit or anything, but. Yeah, so here's this brand called like Brave Person. Yeah. Uh, and it's a pack of three and when am I gonna wear this? I don't know, but I guess I'll wear this. Maybe when it's like super hot because of global warming and, and climate change. So in the summer when I'm like dying, I guess I'll wear this. But yeah, and most recently I wore like the, those cock socks briefs because it's like extra warm because I can like tuck it in the sock. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, so I got like <laughs> these dogs. Not thinking anyone would buy them. Oh no, my light just blew. I guess I need to order new light bulbs. But anyways, I was still one. Anyways, um, yeah. I hope these are the right size. So anyways, I am wearing... Ugh, gross. Gross. So yeah, I'm still fat. Nothing's changed much. And I'm wearing these. I actually bought more underwear from Aussie Bum, so hopefully I'll get the, all these videos out by like before I go back to school again. <laughs> but my next class shouldn't be as intense, so yeah. And I'm also not inter interning for like a while, at least until February anyways. Um, uh, yeah. So, let's get this 
on. How do I open this? Oh lord. This is like scandalous stuff. Anyways, um, I hope I'm a medium. So anyways, yeah, without raising red flags, let's see how, how I do this. <laughs> If this does not hold my scrotum, I don't think I'd do this. Jeez. So anyways, I know girls wear thongs because they don't want panty lines, but... Why would guys wear them? It's not as bad as a wedgie because there's not as much fabric in the way. But I don't have like the nicest butt to show. Cause I got a lot of acne in there. But yeah, so, um, once this goes away, maybe it'll look better. But, it looks like this, yo. I should've heard this up. So, that was the blue one. Here's, um, a black one. There's blue, black, and white. And, they're not cotton at all, it's nylon and spandex. Which isn't bad. It feels like um swim swim clothes. Except I'm I don't think anyone will be swimming in these unless it's like some very fancy European place or or like maybe um not a touristy part of China. Um Yeah, and then here's the white one. Did I show them right? <laughs> but yeah, I guess this will be a summer of 2019. <clears throat> this would be good for like those tights where it's like, oh, you, you can, maybe you can see someone's underwear. I mean, someone's like bare ass, but. Ta-da! I'm actually wearing a thong. But the thing about this is like, what if you're like hormonal and you're like raging? What if you're like raging and you can't like, it's really hard to hide a boner with this. But yeah. I feel like a Victoria's Secret model, but fat. You know, I used to like think that doing like belly dancing stuff would like help with the lines and now this doesn't really help <laughs> yeah um this is like all the butt you can get the... so what do i think about this man butt floss it's not bad actually i don't think it's that bad i think wedgies are worse because there's so much more fabric this one just like pew it's like um i don't know <laughs> that sound effect doesn't really mean anything um it just feels like um, a little string between your butt cheeks. Oh shit. Hold on, let me fix my balls. <laughs> this doesn't look so like scandalous until you, until you go like there. I don't think it's like super comfortable or anything, but it's not like the worst thing in the world either. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just scared of like being red flagged by by you know the internet. <laughs> or I mean the Christian loving internet, I guess. <laughs> what does this say? Um, thanks for the thoughts, Patrick. Um, but besides that. Um, let's try this. I don't need to eat anything. <laughs> I just, I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Um, so my, ha my my teeth have been like sort of sensitive since the weather is kind of cold and when you drink like cold drinks it gets more like... It's just, your nerves just like feel more sensitive and hits your brain and you're like... Ugh. But anyways, so yeah, the inside looks like this. And then 
Let me get my toothbrush. I'm so hungry. <sighs> Let's see how it tastes and hopefully it's not fake <laughs> or something. So basically it's called medical hydro hydroxy appetite toothpaste. I know appetite's a mineral. <laughs> That's all I learned from geography class like over 10 years ago. Geography? Geology. <laughs> I've taken geography too. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I've taken lots of things. I've been in school for way too long. But yeah, I want to brush my teeth with this like every day for maybe like three weeks and see what happens. So maybe when I'm like eating my stash of chocolate and stuff, I won't feel as bad. Because once you start reaching 30, any little pain you feel is like, oh my god, I'm dying. Hmm. It's just almost like regular toothpaste. And there's like other brands of this, not brands, but like other special formulated ones. I guess for like children and stuff. I don't know. This one's, I guess, this one's like a mid range one because I wouldn't put something super expensive in my wish list. So, yeah, like I'm also very like um, concerned about my teeth because when you have receding gums, no one tells you that. They won't go back down, so when they're up, they're up. Oh, I see a temperature thing on my, my, my thing. So yeah, thanks Patrick. Let's remember to brush your teeth like this. Up and down. And I did order more Aussie bone stuff. And I have like a order from Chibundi's. And maybe a unique low package will be next. Maybe I'll have my haircut by right then and the pimples will be down because information on the camera is not cute. Okay, bye guys.